I sound rough. Please ignore my skin. It's bad. Like I literally look like I got into a fist fight with acne on this side. So please ignore my skin and my voice. I'm getting a cold. It's it's a fun time. I haven't vlogged in a few weeks, I think. This morning I just made a, a smoothie. What is wrong with me? A protein shake like you guys saw. Because normally in the mornings I'm not super hungry. It depends on the day, but Rather than forcing myself to eat today, I just wanted to have a protein shake. Today, I wanted to take my all of my supplements with you guys just so I can kind of show you what I'm taking and kind of why. Some of the things I'm not... Well, I know I'm taking everything. <laughs> so yeah, I was just going to run you guys through what supplements I take. Someone commented on my last video and said that they wanted to see that. I don't remember who it was, but shout out to you. So, it is currently around 9... 20 something right now. Usually I would take my first round of supplements at 8, but normally I get up a little later than that. So I've pushed it back to 9 as of today. Ooh. The first thing that I take in the morning is this Dr. Wilson's Dynamite Adrenal Powder. This is the first supplement that I take. This is for that adrenal fatigue thing. This stuff tastes disgusting. Even my doctor said, yeah, it tastes disgusting. It's so bad. You'll, you'll probably see by the look on my face when I put this in my mouth. It's bad. I take like half half-ish of a scoop. I have it in this bag because it doesn't fit in here. And then the next thing that I take is this Hawthorne solid extract. I believe this I take for cardiovascular health. This stuff tastes really good. It's actually just Hawthorne berry in a syrup. So this, when I mix it with water, that's how I take it. This just tastes like tea to me. I might change how I take this because it's so disgusting. My doctor said that, I don't know if she takes the same stuff, but she said that when she has taken it or when she does take it, she puts it in like a smoothie. I don't know for sure if I'd want to do it like that just because I don't want to disperse this in like a huge drink, if that makes sense. Because all I do is I just take this little cup, fill it. Oh, there's dog hair. I fill it almost all the way up with just warm water because the, this dissolves a little easier in warm water and then I just choke it down and in between each gulp I drink something else to kind of get the flavor or lack thereof of this out of my mouth. This usually makes me feel kind of nauseous because of the taste and the texture. It's very gritty and just... Okay, I'm not going to talk about it. I'm just going to take it. So I'm just going to get some warm water and then take these. And I do have some other supplements that I take, but they're in my room, so I'll show you in a second. <sighs> this is the hard part, <laughs> actually getting it down. So I take a little swig of what I'm... Just to get a different flavor in my mouth, and then... Oh, okay, it's so bad you guys like But I have to take it and I'm supposed to work up to a full scoop and this is bad and this is only like half ish Sometimes it's a weak half. You know what I mean? Okay. Hold on. Okay. Woo! we got it mm. <laughs> mm -mm. And I have to mix it in between gulps too because it settles at the bottom. The last little gulp that I take is always the worst because it settles. Mmm, okay. Mm -hmm. Ooh, I try not to gag. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ooh, I almost couldn't do that one. Ooh. Okay, so for this one i don't do as much water because this one doesn't taste disgusting so i don't mind if i can actually taste this one and i only have to do half a teaspoon 
so far. I think I'm supposed to work this one up too, but I don't know. This one's like really thick, but this one tastes good, so I don't care. Like I said, it tastes like tea, so. And that's the tea, sis. <laughs> that joke is probably getting really old. Okay, this one's an easy peasy. <clears throat> Cheers. There's a hair. Cheers. Beautiful puppy. Hi Mia, how do you do? Hi Walker, how do you do? Hi. Hi pretty, look at your little tail wagging in your back. Are you so pretty? Oh my goodness, Walker's a beautiful puppy. So now that I'm done with my drinkable supplements, that's the only time that I take those is right away in the morning. I go into my drawer. Oh my god! Please excuse the cold remedies. Push those to the side. Those aren't normally in there. And I take out this bad boy. This thing is really nice because I take different supplements at different times of the day. So this is really nice to keep those all straight. And I have an app on my phone called like the Mango Health app. I really like that one because when you put medications in there, it tells you if there's interactions with other medications. Unfortunately, they don't have that for supplements, which really sucks, but Obviously supplements are way more natural. You're way less likely to have a reaction with something with that than like a pharmaceutical. So since today is Wednesday and it's the morning, I'll open this up and in here I have these two little ones. So the pink one that I just showed you is just this B12 uh, 1000 MCG. I don't know what that stands for, but I wasn't technically prescribed these, but this one supports cellular energy production in the body, which your homegirl struggles with energy production in this body. So I take this, and then the next thing that I take, my aunt actually told me to take, and I did ask my doctor, she said that it was fine that I'm taking this, but it's this 100% certified organic Ganoderma. I don't know much about it, but I know it's made from like a type of mushroom. I don't know, but it's supposed to be like a miracle product. So I take one in the morning, at noon, and then in the evening, which is like at five o'clock. Now that I got those down, I'm gonna pop one of these cough drop type things. These are the Ricola honey herb. These are the best cough drops you'll ever eat. They don't taste gross. They actually taste good because they have honey in them. So now, um, I know this is a vlog style video, but technically it's not just gonna be like, oh, see what I do today. Like, I mean, it, okay, it kind of is, but as you saw by the title, I'm going through my supplements and I'm gonna kind of show you like a day in the life of someone with pots. Granted, every day is different and not all people with POTS live their daily life like me. I'm gonna wait to talk about my other supplements that I'm taking until that time comes. But yeah, I'm gonna kind of show you guys what I do in a day just to kind of put in perspective. So right away, I'm gonna talk about how I'm feeling. I've always kind of held off on doing a video like this because I just find it hard to portray how I feel because the illness I have is invisible, so you can't see how I'm feeling, which, I mean, that's why I've been kind of anxious about doing a video like this, because it's hard to portray how I'm feeling without, like, over-dramatizing it. Like, when I feel dizzy, I'm not gonna be like, hey guys, I feel dizzy. Like, you know what I mean? Normally in the morning is when... It depends on the day, though, too, and that's why it's hard, because, like, right now, I feel pretty good. Like, I was able to walk around stand up for a while without feeling too bad, but it seems like after I take my morning supplements, I do feel pretty dizzy and sometimes pretty nauseous for like a good hour or two. I don't know if it's just because the mixture of all of them together just is a lot for my system at, at like in the morning. I don't know. So usually I will lay down or kind of like sit up in bed and watch Netflix or something, or sometimes I'll go back to sleep just because that's the easiest way for me to not feel dizzy and nauseous. But Sometimes I feel like if I nap too much during the day, then I can't sleep at night too, so it really depends on the day. But I just wanted to make sure I say that just because I'm taking these supplements and I'm doing these things every day or whatever doesn't mean that any POTS patients or any other patients out there need to do what I'm doing. Every person's different. I'm nowhere near where I want to be with quality of life, which sounds kind of crazy considering I'm a 22-year-old healthy-looking female 
yeah, I might look healthy, but I don't always feel the healthiest. I've just been struggling a lot recently with leaving my bed every day. Just being honest with you guys, I'm getting in a really bad habit again of not leaving my bed. And it's hard because I'm home alone most days. So in my head, I don't really have a reason to get up. So it's hard. I'm honestly trying to get better at that so I have a better quality of life. And if you guys don't know what that means, it's basically... I, I don't know, like, what's your reason to get up out of bed? How often do you get up out of bed? You know, like, what do you do during the day? How active are you? Which, speaking of that, next week I'm going to start physical therapy. Well, my therapist was kind of concerned that I'm going to be getting deconditioned, which I probably am. So she wanted me to have dedicated time to exercise. I'm not exactly sure what they're going to have me do, but I'm sure they're going to have me do exercises. But hopefully they're going to be smart enough to know that I have to do POTS safe exercises, which I'm sure they will. But then again, not a lot of doctors and healthcare professionals know about POTS around here. So that'll be interesting. It's Dysautonomia Awareness Month. I've talked about it before on this channel, like the last few videos I've talked about it. This is kind of a prime example. Right now, I'm kind of getting a little dizzy woozy. I don't know if it's just from talking or it's because I'm actually sitting up. It's hard to explain. It's not like full on dizzy where like I see the room spinning, but it's just, I don't know. It just feels kind of like you're in water and like you're kind of just like, I'll probably kind of lay here for a little while and then, I don't know, stand up in a little while. I was gonna clean the bathroom and the kitchen today, but I don't know if that's gonna get done today just because, I don't know, we'll see how I feel later, but I kinda doubt that'll happen. Maybe it will, I don't know. I just got really hot. And I hope you guys don't think I'm being dramatic like through this video, cause I honestly, obviously, I don't know how this video is gonna turn out. God willing, I'm not going to end up with my pots flaring up today. But, oh, I just got really hot. I don't know if it's because the heat turned on or what, but like I said, I am a little dizzy. I'm not super nauseous right now, but I just feel tired. So I think I'm going to put you guys away for a little bit. Sounded like I was just going to start talking about something, but I think I'm going to put you guys away and just have you kind of watch me do what I do. Normally I watch a lot of like YouTube videos and stuff, but yeah, you guys are going to see that now. I was just going to show you guys the health app that I use to track my medications. This is what the home screen looks like. It just kind of gives you a little overview of your upcoming medications and stuff. And then you're, it's so awesome because as you take your medications, you get points. And then what's really cool is they hold raffles every few days. And these are some of the prizes that you can win. Like, um, see the level that I'm at, I could win a $75 Walmart gift card or make a donation to the American Cancer Society or ASPCA. When I was in one of my first few levels, I made a donation to ASPCA and I have actually gotten a $5 Target gift card before. So that's super, super cool. It's kind of a little something that keeps you motivated to take your medication. This is the next time that I will be able to draw in the raffle or whatever. And then here is an overview of all of my medications. Um, you can add care recipients on here. Looking down here, your inbox, that'll just be where like you have any interactions between medications. Like if there's any foods that you shouldn't have while taking medication, like this one says do not drink alcohol. Obviously we learned that the hard way. And then also in your inbox is where your prize will be if you win one of those raffles. Your history, this is just going to show you like let's say I'm like oh October 2nd, did I take all my medication? And then oh yep I did, okay. And then also if for some reason I am famous for snoozing my medications because I'm just lazy like that. So if for some reason the app thinks you didn't take it, you can just come in here and click, oh yeah, I did take that. So that's just what that is. And then my health, that is where you have a more in-depth overview of all of your medications. And then I really like it because it'll keep track of all the past ones. So these are literally all the medications I've taken since I've had this app. So like back when I had to take a Z-Pack for like an upper respiratory infection that I had, 
and it literally just keeps track of all of them so it's nice that when you go into the doctor and they say well what other medications have you taken you can go oh well let me just show you and then obviously these are your um current medications and it's really nice because you can put in how many pills you have of everything so then it'll let you know when you're going to run out which i find really helpful and then this is just like your settings and stuff and then also what you can do when you click on a medication you can see how long you've been taking it um how you've been doing this month your best month um mango community i don't know what that means and then info you can write down like when you take it all that stuff alerts those are like um, interactions like that z pack it gave a notification that it'll there might be an interaction and then when you do edit this is what it'll look like when you put a new medication in it'll just give you the option to take as needed an interval schedule so like if you only take a dose every two weeks frequency i take it once daily at noon and then you will put in how many you have in your bottle and then how many you get when you refill it and then the form is like you'll pick what form it's in like if it's a cream or a concentrate or a tablet and then you can pick the shape and the color and then how many you take i honestly find this app super helpful i've used it for quite a few years and i really really like it i don't have any complaints about it and i really like that feature where you have a chance of winning gift cards to places and like i said I've won, I think it was only like a $1 donation, but that's still really cool. Like about a month ago, I won a $5 Target gift card and it was legit because I used it. So I just think it's really cool. And it's awesome because the more you take your medication, the higher level you get. So the bigger prize you can get, which I don't know how common it is that you win prizes, especially the higher level you are. But I mean, why not? It's a free app. You have to take your medication anyway, so you might as well get points for it and win free stuff for it. I mean, that's pretty awesome. So if you guys want to download it, it's just called Mango Health App. So if you guys take medications and stuff, I would download that app because it's really awesome. Hey guys, it is lunchtime checking here. I just have two slices of whole grain white bread and some tuna salad. We didn't have any dill pickle relish, so I literally just chopped up a small pickle and then added some juice and some mayonnaise and a little bit of celery flakes. So let's try it and see if it tastes pretty good. Mm -hmm. The pickle pieces are a little big, but as a nice crunch, but it tastes good. Oh, here comes the mail. Ooh, you tell them. Ooh, you tell them. You tell them to get lost. So I'm going to eat this. Probably go check the mail in a few minutes. And then at noon, I will check back in with you guys because currently it is 1135. And I take my next round of supplements at noon, so I'll see you then. I think I kind of overshot how hungry I was, because I'm barely finishing my first one and I'm getting full. So that's one thing that's kind of annoying with pots, is you wouldn't think that it would affect your appetite, but it does. My appetite is like this most of the time. Wow, you can really see my blemishes on camera. Wow. Cool. I'm pretty much done with lunch. I'll probably put this in the fridge. And then I'm just going to keep watching YouTube videos. Probably fill out my bullet journal eventually. And then I will check back in when I take my next supplements. Because it's only 11.41. So, catch you on the flippity flip. Alrighty guys, it is noon and I just got a notification from my Mango Health app that I need to take my supplements. So I'm going to grab my handy dandy supplement organizer and I'm going to go to the Wednesday noon portion. And what I take at noon is again that Ganoderma 
mushroom thing. And then the next one that I take is 50 milligrams of Zoloft, which is for my anxiety. And then I take one of these honkers, which I don't know if you can tell how big this is, but she's pretty big. And that is something called Testo Quench by Douglas Laboratories. The reason why I take this is for my PCOS. I mentioned in my previous video, I'll link it in a card here. I take this to help regulate my testosterone levels. And I have, I was prescribed this, I believe two weeks ago. And for the first week, I took two a day and I would take them both at 5 p.m. And now I take three a day, which I take one now at noon, and then I take two at 5 p.m. And then this Thursday or Friday, I don't remember which day it is, then I'll switch to four per day. And then I'll continue on four per day. So I'll take two at noon, two at 5 p.m. I'll continue that for, I think, like four months. Um, our goal is that I get my period back because that will show that my hormones have regulated at least enough to get my cycle back. So that is why I take that. That is all I take. I've had two of these cough drops. I think you're only supposed to have three every two hours. So I'm gonna have another one of those. And then I also have these hauls of vitamin C drop. So I've been taking those as well just to help boost my... I cannot think straight immunity or whatever. I don't know. So. I'm going to take those three supplements, take one of those vitamin C things, and then probably have another cough drop because my throat feels pretty good. Like, it's not sore so much anymore. It's just really scratchy. So, yeah, I will come back to you probably at 5 p.m. when I take my next round of supplements. If not, I'll update you when something else happens. <laughs> Hey guys, it's that time of the day again where I take my next round of pills. It's a little late. It is 5.36 p.m. because I got a little caught up in watching some YouTube videos. So, I take two more of the Testo Quench pills, one of those Ganoderma mushroom ones, and that's all that I take for the day. But sometimes at night, if I can kind of tell that I'm probably not going to sleep the greatest or if I'm having trouble sleeping, I'll take one of these Mountain Peak New nutritionals tranquility formula hypoallergenic dietary supplement it's basically kind of like a sleep aid slash just helps you relax and stuff that's pretty much it for my supplements now one more thing i'm going to show you is these little drink packet mixer things i used to drink a lot of gatorade but my doctor told me not to do that anymore because there's so much sugar in gatorade which is true and now when I drink Gatorade, it makes my teeth feel so disgusting. But from time to time, I will drink this Electro Mix. It is kind of like the equivalent of Gatorade without the sugar. It doesn't taste the greatest, but symptom-wise, I still feel pretty good. I did not get up as much as I wanted to today, but I also can tell my cold is getting worse. It's kind of migrating down. My throat has felt really scratchy all day. My nose is a little stuffy. <clears throat> But yeah, my throat is getting more scratchy and it's kind of migrating down into my chest, so that kind of made me feel eh. So tomorrow's a new day. Hopefully I will have more energy to get up and clean or just do something. Marcos is home now, but I was just going to wrap up the video. Hope you had a good time watching. <laughs> so that's pretty much it for today's video. Just don't beat. Be sure to look down below for the big red subscribe button, click it, look for the notification bell, click it so you're notified every time I upload. Which, speaking of, today's notification shout out goes to Sunny Chismark. Hopefully I didn't butcher your name, but if you have my notifications turned on, be sure to let me know in a comment down below and I might shout you out in a video next time. So, that's pretty much it for today's video. Walker's whining for some reason. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you guys in the next one. Bye!